Hi, I'm Lily Diaz, your Connectivity Product Specialist here at E&M, and today I'd like to speak to you a little bit about my top five reasons why I think IO-Link is the cool new technology um, for automation. The first great thing about IO-Link is that it's going to start to vastly reduce your downtime. Right now you're probably heading out into your plant with one of these, a voltmeter. Mine's a little old, it's an analog one, but it still works just fine. So you're probably heading out into your plant and, you know, trying to test if it's your sensor, if it's your cable, what, if it's your con, whatever it is that's wrong. Um, but with the IO-Link, you move to something that looks a little bit more like this. So you can see that there's some demo lights on on this unit. So these are the lights here that would help indicate if the sensor is functioning. This would technically be a functioning light indicator here. If it's not functioning um, or if there's a fault, when there's a fault, they turn bright red. Um, so you can actually trace these LEDs all the way out to where your sensor is um, through any of the existing topology or layers of topology that you might have um, to find exactly which sensor is the one that's not working for you. The second really cool thing about IO-Link is that it helps you um, to schedule that downtime. So normally, you know, something happens, catastrophic failure, you have to run out there and you have to do something. Well, a lot of times some, you know, there's a sensor that has, you know, that gets dirty, something like a photo eye, or something kind of along these lines, or maybe it's a power supply or a pressure sensor or something that has the capability to feed back to you and let you know a little bit more about itself. So for example, these guys can, you know, tell your system, your IO-Link system, um, you know, I'm getting a little dirty. Um, and then you can start to monitor that and kind of over a period of time you can see, you know, like every six months one of these starts to get dirty. So you can start scheduling every six months to go out and clean all your photo eyes. Another great um, option with the IO link is actually line changeover. Normally it takes a really long time for someone to go out and, you know, change out this sensor for one of these or reparameterize the photo eye or do something, you know, you have to go out, you have to either physically change the sens sensor out, excuse me, or you have to, you know, change the pots, you know, press some buttons, change it. With IO-Link capable sensors, you don't have to do that anymore. You can actually do it from the comfort of your office. Um, through the block and through a web interface, you can actually communicate to your IO-Link sensor and set certain parameters on it. So what, you know, once was several hours of walking through your plant, making sure all of your sensors are set correctly, now becomes a matter of minutes of um, just going through and making sure that all your sensors are set correctly through an online portal. Now I've been talking a lot about sensors, um, and you might be wondering, I'm holding up a whole, you know, different kinds of sensors, different colors, different shapes, different styles. So you might be wondering, you know, can I use any sensor I like? Technically you can. So any brand of sensor that you're currently using, you can still continue to use. Um, there's even some sensors that are not IO link that you can still continue to use. That's the same actually for your PLC as well. IO-Link is sensor and PLC agnostic, so there's no need for you to actually, you know, teach your team a new set of programming skills or get them familiar with a new um, platform, your PLC platform, or teach them anything different about their sensors. You know, that's kind of the beauty of IO-Link. You get your favorite PLC, the perfect sensor for the job every time. And finally, probably one of the most visually powerful things that you can see, at least with IO-Link, is you can reduce the amount of wiring that you have to do. So by about cost of about 40% reduction, and you can save a whole bunch of space. So right now, you probably have something that looks a little bit like this, um, either in a control panel, in some conduit, you know, cable trays, whatever it might be. So this is what you need to talk to your system right now, hardwiring your connections back, talking to all your, you know, sensors and all your power and all this stuff. Well, with IO-Link, you actually just reduce it to two cables, a network cable 
of your choice depending upon your PLC unit and a power cable to power up your block. Two cables versus who knows how many. So those are my top five um, cool things about IO-Link. Hopefully you've enjoyed them and they've educated you a little bit on why IO-Link is the next cool new step in automation technology. Um, please contact me through my information on the screen here um, and I'm more than happy to provide you with more information.